Hi, I'm Dan McCall, CEO of Virtual Computer. Today we'll look at our desktop virtualization solution that delivers security and manageability to IT, offers new levels of flexibility to users, and slashes costs all at the same time. What's the magic that makes that work? It's combining the power of central management with local execution on the industry's first and best Type 1 client hypervisor. So let's see it in action. Here I have a Lenovo X220 with the latest Intel Sandy Bridge processors, and we're going to do a quick demo. With Virtual Computer's next top engine installed, this machine boots in seconds. The hard drive is fully encrypted using AES-256 encryption, the same encryption used by the government to protect top-secret classified data. The Type 1 hypervisor provides the highest level of security because there's no operating system to be compromised. Once Virtual Computer's next top is installed, the PC becomes like a managed appliance with complete centralized control for IT. Updates published by IT are downloaded behind the scenes, checked for integrity, and applied when you reboot. Users will never again need to wait for an update to download or install. You also have the ability to run multiple environments. Let's take a look. I have both Windows 7 and Windows XP running on this machine. If you're looking for a way to migrate to Windows 7, this is a great way to do it because users can flip back and forth between them until they're completely comfortable with making the change. And once you're using Nextop, future migrations to, say, Windows 8 are as easy as just publishing a new virtual machine. Let's jump into Windows 7 and see how this works, just like a native machine. Here's a YouTube video by Intel. If you're like us, you may be investigating or deploying some of the latest desktop and virtualization compute models. These models, when combined with PCs featuring second-generation Intel Core vPro processors, balance our employees' need for performance and productivity. It looks and feels like a native PC because unlike server-hosted VDI where both management and execution are centralized, this solution moves the execution down to where the user is. It not only delivers better performance and mobility, it dramatically reduces cost. By moving the execution to the endpoint, we can now avoid the huge cost and complexity of servers, networks, and storage required by server-hosted VDI. And we can do this while delivering all of the management and security benefits. Here's a quick look at the centralized management console used by IT to create, deploy, update, and secure desktops as well as to fully control the endpoint device. Let's take a quick look at the list of users. Orange indicates a local user and blue indicates an Active Directory user. IT organizations have the choice of integrating their Active Directory, managing users locally, or using any combination of both. I can assign a new desktop complete with the OS and applications to an account just by clicking the checkbox and hitting save. The user's machine will pick it up and download it in the background and you're good to go. To apply a patch, I simply update a shared image once and publish it. All the users assigned to that image will automatically pick up the update and I can just click to roll back if I decide to pull back a patch. This shared image management lets me manage thousands of PCs as if I were managing one. And because the updates happen in the background, users are never disrupted. Shared images provide another benefit as well. Recovery from a virus is as easy as rebooting. The IT team can also manage policies to control things like lockout, backups, bandwidth, and port security. Let's take a quick look at an example. Here's an example of setting USB filters so that I can allow certain types of devices but exclude others, such as a mass storage device, to protect my data. I can create any number of policies and assign them for each environment. I can set up a lockdown corporate environment, but also allow a completely isolated personal environment where users have more flexibility. So what happens if you lose a laptop? First, if you've enabled disk encryption, then you may have lost the physical device, but the data is still secure. With time-based lockout, you can set your machines so that if they don't check in within an allocated time, the PC will be locked out as well. And for added protection, we offer the ability to issue a remote kill command. I simply go to Next Stop Center, issue the kill command, and once I confirm it, the laptop will pick it up as soon as it touches the network. This includes wired, wireless, or even broadband. Once this signal is received, Next Top Engine at the endpoint will perform a seven layer DOD wipe of the hard drive. So after killing the old machine, how do you get the employee productive again? All you have to do is assign him a new machine. He can go grab a cup of coffee, and by the time he gets back, He'll have a new laptop with all his applications, profile settings, and even the icons on the desktop, just where he left them. Even if IT only had laptops with different hardware and drivers in stock, it still works because the image is fully virtualized. As long as the next top engine is installed, it just works. But what if the employee is traveling and needs a new laptop urgently? You can have your employees carry a USB 
recovery stick that contains the image of Nextop Engine, but no data. So the employee can buy a laptop from any retail store, install the USB stick, and then the machine will pull the profile information and the data from the backup that's on the server. This whole process can be done while in a remote office or in a hotel room on the road. We've seen just a few examples of the benefits that both IT and end users can get with the power of virtual computers next time. So go to our website, grab a free download, and try it. Or let us know if you'd like to set up a demo call, and we can show you how you can get your entire desktop virtualization environment with Nextop Center and a bunch of PCs connected in under 90 minutes.